What up? I had to get my water and my coffee. Well, well, well. Here we are for the weekly men's guide. Showing up, committed, 7 a.m. every Monday morning. Just, this, it, not just... This is something to kick your week off on, or I'm going to say in a way that'll get you to expand certain things, get you to see certain things. What happens if I put this right up? Here's what the main thing is. This is the most important. This week, the, the stretch, uh, what, I'm gonna, what I'm inviting men and people and women watching this as well. This is for, for the masculine energy, not necessarily in the physical form. Uh, for me, what I'm what I'm diving into this week is no smiling, no smiling. Now, for some of you that are watching this, you may like you may know me personally. For some of you that are watching this, you may not. Um, so to give you a little fact about me, I am a smiley guy. Okay, like I'm one of those guys who's like, hi, hey, hi, hi, hey, hi. On a regular, for no reason, to the point where I mean, it's been some times my son, my oldest son's called me out on it, like, you know this person, and why are you smiling and saying hello? And um, that's just who I've been. That's just uh, what I what I know um, uh, up until this point, or what I've known, I, I'll say. And um, so where where this comes into play, knowing that you know now that I've revealed, that's that's more about that's that's how I am. I'm a smiley. I'm like, hey, you know, making people feel safe. That I've learned, and um, my mentor, uh, when I had a meeting with him uh, last week, he challenged me to something. So he challenged me to not smile for a certain period of time. So I was like, this is some bullshit. What are you talking about? Like, you know I smile all the time, man. Like, what do you want me to be? Go walk around with the freaking grimace and a mad face on all day? Like, what? what is that? I find that um, when he gave me that invitation, I was butt puckered, man. I was butt puckered. I was like, what the hell? Um, what? Why? I just, man. I came to clarity and asked, well, what are the reasons that you're giving me this invite? to no smiling and he said i think he said i think it's going to be a way for you to deepen um go deeper in yourself um without the affect when he's saying without the affect he's saying without pretending being ha that you're happy and when you're really not and he also this invitation um is also about expanding the depths in how i express myself so it doesn't have to always be like hi hey it could be in a gaze. It could be in a handshake. It could be just, it, 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 it may be just in presence. I, I, I have yet to learn what this will do. I have yet to learn this. And um, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated with this. So what comes up for me as I, as I really explore and dive deep into this? Um, the truth about it is, it's more than being smiley. Like when I was when I was diving into this uh, in my journal and in my sitting with self sessions, I realized that the smile has been my way to stay safe. Um, and I, when I say that, what my what what I mean by that is that, as a black man, uh, going into a space where I'm usually one, the only one or one of the few. That can be um, uh, an intimidating space for me because just in how we humans are, we, we connect with like, right? So being in that space, especially in the health and wellness space, um, yoga space, I'm one of the few black males that's in attendance. So my thing um, is to, uh, I've learned and I, I, know I became more aware of myself. My thing is to... Um, make someone feel like, hey, I'm not a threat. I'm not a threat to you. I'm not a threat to you. I'm, I'm just here taking in a yoga class or training or wherever I am where I'm one of the few or the only. So being able to uh, 
have that laugh like ha hey it's like disarming someone so now I'm like okay whew, I don't feel threatened by them right they can uh, say like oh he's one of the good ones right that was what was going through my mind as I was writing and really diving into this and this is for me this is, I'm not gonna speak for every black male I'm just speaking for myself and the reason why I'm taking on this invitation and I invite you to take on something that oh, that's the opposite of who you perceive yourself to be, right? So for me, my, I perceive myself like, hey, I'm a happy black guy. Hey, I'm not angry. And in reality, yeah, I have anger. I have sadness. Uh, I have power. I have strength. By me putting on an affect or by uh, me affecting my persona, I'm not being... On, uh, the, uh, um, I'm I'm the I'm being a fake. I'm a fake there. Uh there's there's a lack of authenticity in that space. So this invitation really uh really 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 is helpful for me, man. I'm just like I'm blown away. Um so this is this is going to be um this is probably going to be a real quick one because I gotta tell you, I'm still in the process of this. Like today's the first day. Like even in this morning, I had a client, and it was like, uh, you know, in the space where where we work out, where we train. There's other people that are there. So I found myself like, hey, how you doing? Like I didn't smile as much, but I was still like, um, like doing this thing. Like, hey, how you doing? Like kind of looking to connect. And disclaimer, <laughs> listen. I'm not, uh, th what I'm saying is there are two poles to how I can engage. There's, there's a lack of judgment. There's, 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 there's uh this is a judgment free space. So I'm not going to say, um, what I'm saying is let's not look at this. Um, let's look at this away from right or wrong, good or bad. What the hell do I mean by that? I'm not saying, I'm saying that to, to have an affect is a tool when I'm aware of my situation. That's what's coming up for me. And you'll notice as you as I'm as I'm going through this, I'm changing myself. I'm working on my green, red, green language. Shout out to my man John Tompkins. Um and this is something that I, I really find I'm fascinated with because when I, the more I dive into this and the more I'm being open to saying, okay, I'm not going to smile this week. And the more I stay open to what are the other ways I can express myself and connect with someone without putting on a show. Uh, there is a way um, that that this can work. There's another layer. There's another layer for me there. There's another. Uh, yeah, there's. um I don't know. I'm just feeling like all this, all of my chest. There's a little bit of anxiety. Like you know, I really got to focus on my breath. Uh, not got to. I, I get to focus on my breath as I'm going through this. Because this is really, again, this is this is how I've been operating. So to now go into the week, consciously looking at when I'm smiling and and doing my best to stay away from smiling this week. I'm freaking, I, I don't know what this week is going to bring. I'm like, what the dick is, is going to happen? Like, what's what's the perception? What are the projections? And I got to tell you, I'm curious to it all. I'm curious to it all. So um, as I wrap up here, this in this weekly guide, this is, um, uh, this is a space to set an intention for the week. And my intention for the week that I'm going to invite you all to is to step into something outside of your perceived self. Step into something outside of your perceived self. In my instance, the example is I'm going to step outside the perceived self of Paul's the happy, fun, loving guy all the time. Okay. That means I'm going to experience what that could be. What's the possibility? I'm, I'm going to do my best to stay away from the boxes and just be curious to this whole experience. And you know what? Next week when I come back uh, for the weekly guide, you know, I'll tell you how it's been. I'll tell you how it's going. I'll post some videos throughout the week. 
So again, the invitation is to do something that's outside of your perceived self, right? So if like, let's say, for example, you go work out, uh, not even go work out. I'm just, let me, what's an example I could think of? Um, so if you're, if you tend to be really, uh, if you tend to be moody, uh, or disconnected in the morning, what's it like when you connect in the morning? And that could look like a lot of different ways. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do outside of your perceived self. If you're open to this challenge and you want to figure out something that you can do, Glenda, what's up? If you're open to this challenge and you want to figure out like what's something that I could do, DM me. Let's set up a conversation. Let's set up a quick conversation. I'll get an assessment of where you are, what's your situation in life, or what you want to be aware of at the workplace or what have you. And then let's find something for you to do for a week. Step into it. See where you stretch. See where you expand. And then let's take it from there. Because it's one step at a time. This isn't about trying to freaking build Rome in one day. This is about practice. This is about expansion. This is about seeing things from another view. And that's what a guide can do. right? That's what a guide can do. So this is our weekly guide. Do something that's outside or the opposite of what your perceived self would do. Right, or what your perceived self does, not would do, does. And that's the takeaway for the week, weekly guide. Yeah, two weeks in a row, baby. Who you with? All right, so listen, be well, everybody. When we know better, we do better. Blessings, and until next week, all the best.